I had no history of a heart disease myself. The, the night before, I felt like I had been coming down with a cold. Uh, it felt a little like pneumonia, a little heaviness on my chest. The morning of January 20th, 2018, my husband and I, we got up, it was a Saturday morning, and I, I heard him coughing quite a bit. And when I came downstairs, he was laying on the couch in the living room and said, something's wrong, I, I think I'm sick. I asked him, of course, if he'd like me to call 911. And he's like, no, just let me lay here a bit. He said, I think it's starting to pass now. And a second later, I heard this gasp. I went back into the living room and he was slumped over. I was completely unaware of, of any heart problems. I was a smoker, so I, I figured, well, that might put me at a little bit increased risk. Immediately, I'm grabbing the phone and calling 911. My daughter, um, she just said, Mom, CPR now. If you can think of so, a fast song, like, like staying alive, and you can get the beat going, doing the chest compressions at the right speed, so in my mind, I'm, I'm singing Staying Alive while I'm doing chest compressions. When, when I heard about them taking CPR and, and learning it, I, I considered it a very good idea. And actually, to be truthful, I figured it would be good to know, but they probably never would use it. But lo and behold, here they, here they did, and it was on me. But I noticed that the nurse kept working. And after a while, I was a little confused. And I asked the nurse, I said, I, I don't understand. And she said, well, he's still holding his heartbeat. She says, this last time that we got his heartbeat back, it held. There was a, a nurse, Andrea. And she was uh, kept reiterating about how lucky I was to be alive. and how fortunate I was because of how close I had come to dying. So don't, don't take your health for granted. <laughs> I have to thank God that he still has kept that heartbeat to the day.